The purpose of the Urban Freight Lab is to solve urban freight challenges. The challenges to, to moving goods in urban areas right now uh, can't be solved alone by either the public sector, the city, or the private sector, people who use the city's infrastructure to deliver goods. And so to, to make progress, we have to come together, we have to work together. And that's why people have joined the lab. The experience with the Urban Freight Lab, being able to bring together resources and very smart people from both public and private sector. So having governmental agencies as well as technology companies, retailers, and uh, other sources being able to work in a collaborative environment with academia to be able to, to communicate and, and cross ideas. The members of the Urban Freight Lab, the companies that are members, send delegates to the Urban Freight Lab meetings and those delegates have decision-making authority. So we, we make decisions, we make plans there that day in the meeting. The University of Washington provides the framework and structures the discussion and takes those research ideas forward through our research expertise. There's a lot of things we're working with cities, trying to get uh, smarter in cities, trying to communicate with vehicles within cities. So what I found the value of the Urban Freight Lab is just the collaboration with other partners within the, the Urban Freight Lab. Other members within the industry, like-minded people, thinking and, and trying to address these issues that everyone's contemplating and, and thinking and talking about. In the Urban Freight Lab, what we mean by working together, we mean defining shared goals and objectives, and then contributing to the research, you know, presenting ideas, reviewing reports, and implementing solutions. How can we still provide the value of the on-time delivery, along with the on-demand delivery, and the consolidated delivery for effectiveness and efficiency? As e-commerce grows, all the demands on the entire system grow as well. And we need to solve for that by making a strategic plan and gather the data that allows us to understand where our constraints are. How do people use the city? How do people use the curb? How much illegal parking is there? How much double parking is there? How big are those trucks? How long do they stay? Are they service vehicles or delivery vehicles? Are they delivering food or packages? You need to gather the data on how individual curb space is being used, by whom and when it's being used, and how can we have an overall strategic plan to compensate for all the potential values that each service provides. It allows us to have insights to data that it says, hmm, that's interesting. We can then take that data and analyze it ourselves. That saves us a ton of time and allows us to quickly identify potential solutions. I mean, the, the interest from the city of Seattle to be able to partner with both the University of Washington as well as other retailers creates that unique experience that makes Seattle really important for this type of work. The value in the Urban Freight Lab research spreading around the country is the same values that are proven here in Seattle can be duplicated in other cities. And then the collaboration could be more regionally or across the entire nation as well. And we're really starting to see people use that research to have impact. And that's the exciting part of why we're doing this work, is to see things happen on the ground.